I can click on detect duplicates. What it will do now is to use an internal algorithm powered by machine learning to detect which of the studies are the same or might be the same. It will tell you in percentage terms how much likely it is for the two or more studies to be the same study. So I believe it uses the title, the abstract and other fields to determine if the study is a duplicate or not. Usually after you've exported your results, your search results from the various databases, this is the first step. You remove duplicates. In my opinion, the Ryan duplicate detection system is not robust. So it doesn't allow or flexible. It doesn't allow you to determine what fields should be used to detect duplicates. And so that's why I have a problem with it. So I would advise you use something else like EndNote where you can actually tell EndNote which fields it should compare to det determine the duplicates. But Ryan is a good place to start or to end with. So now it says that it has detected 14 duplicates and that's in this panel here. So in the duplicates panel it tells you which ones you've not resolved yet, which ones you've deleted, which ones you think are not duplicates which ones you've resolved and which ones are exact matches. So when we click on unresolved, you will be shown this panel here and each one you see it has this cascading kind of um, icon. That means that it's a pile of articles of the same type. So when you click on it and you click on resolve duplicate, it tells you that it's 80, 3% sure that these are duplicates. When you scroll down, you realize that there are two of them. So now you will visually compare whether they are duplicates or not. I'm guessing the reason why it finds that these are duplicates is in this database, they wrote meta population and put it in brackets, but here it's not. And that's basically the same as the study because you can see that the authors are the same. And databases tend to label certain fields differently. And that's why when you export from several databases, you tend to have duplicates. So to resolve it, you either delete one of them or you tell Ryan that you don't think these are duplicates, but we can see that these are duplicates and we prefer this title to that one. So what we'll do is to click on delete. Now you can see that it's, it's shown here that one item is deleted and one is resolved. So we can go on to the next one click on resolve duplicate. It says it's 98% a duplicate. So you can just check out the title, check out the first few sentences, and you can see that it's basically the same thing. So you can delete which one you don't like. Then you move on to the next, click on resolve duplicate. It splits up the duplicates, and then you can proceed and do that for all of them. So when you click on resolve duplicate, it splits up how many, sometimes it's three or four duplicates. So you want to compare and delete which ones you think are duplicates or tell it it's not a duplicate. So if for example here, I think it's not a duplicate, I can just click on not duplicate and it will resolve it for me. So at this point we can see that we still have eight unresolved. We've deleted two of them. Um, we said one of them is not a duplicate. We've resolved three of them and there are two that are exact matches and three that are also exact matches. Cool. So that's the duplicate um, tab on the left.